I said hello to Paul one second ago and he's already filming. This man doesn't take a minute off. He says hello and he's on the job. I haven't even asked him how old he is. How are you, Paul? <laughs> how was your day? Busy day, that's it. He's just fucking straight on with it. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. Thank you, boss. Oh, uh, Bada Togum guy. Yes, my canto was excellent. The plan was actually to be at the peak right now, filming a DJ set on the top, drones, the lot, but because there's a no-fly drone zone, we're not there. Um, but we were gonna film at the peak, but now we're here instead. We're back on the harbor front, but instead of being the Hong Kong side, we are going to Kowloon side. And I decided to channel the same energy and wear my day one weekend jacket because today it's a big video, Paul. It's a big video. Not a lot's going to happen, but a lot of shit's going to come out of my mouth to direct the next portion of my life. So channeling the same hustle back against the wall mentality for this video. Oh, we've got, we're on the Dior Star Ferry. Very bougie. I'll take it. Welcome to the greatest skyline in the world. We'll take a minute. Look at that. Look at that. Turn your own boy. I don't get any better than that. Don't even know what I'm going to say right now. I feel like I have an awful lot to say today. We are going to do a review of the first three months of Paul coming to film me. Guys, the good news is we're not breaking up. We're staying together. Paul and I are going to continue to work together. I feel like we learned a lot in um, the last three months. I've definitely um, become much, much more accustomed to even doing this in public. The first few times I was like, everybody's looking at me, and they are. <laughs> they still are looking, but I care a lot less now. And uh, it's been really fun to capture all sorts of different stuff. It's been an eventful three months, but it's not been a, a massively different to like the last year so. It's just nice to have it down on, on film for people to see, view, and me document my life. I think moving forward, we're going to do a little bit more of like the documenting is cool, but I feel like I want to, some people have suggested as well, I should be perhaps offering like a bit more value and I don't want to say like education, but like I'm showing what I'm doing, but not necessarily like how or why or tips or life hacks. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along, uh, but do a little bit more along side just filming what I'm doing which will be good and I think Paul's also filmed and captured a, a real pivotal moment in my life a time in my life where we'll go into it a little bit later but um, starting working my business coach in November is probably the biggest shift I've had well I would say COVID was the biggest shift I've ever had but that's another kettle of fish altogether but um, working with Bjorn has been like no short of life changing already and um, it's been nice to, to capture this process. Um, we've, we've already been down a few alleyways and we've come back out and we've come full circle and uh, we'll get into it a little bit further shortly. But welcome to the three month review and the outline um, and the lead up to day one of my new life, which is April 1st. We are filming on the 22nd of March. This is gonna come out, I believe on the 31st of March. And the day later is day one of my new life. So we'll get into that shortly. Uh, if anyone's wondering what my random drink is, when you're not allowed to eat, you have water. And to make it taste a little bit better, we've got some electrolytes in there. So this is essentially my food. Welcome to TST, the land of photographs, tourists and influencers. Are we at the influencer stage yet? Try not to be. So, quickly, what am I going to do? I've asked Paul to edit a quick reel that kind of sums up the three months in, yep, I don't know, 10 seconds. This is what Paul has caught on camera so far. My live radio session, DJing, bodybuilding with James, bodybuilding on my own, supporting Clooney, into Miami press conference, business in Dubai, being the tequila king. He's a, he's a, He's been put to bed for a couple of weeks, but he'll be back, I promise. High Rocks in South Korea, got balls once and twice. Um, our seven year anniversary at Rugby Tots, raising $1.5 million. More DJing, starting my music production journey, doing the video shoot for Lockley, which was a couple of weeks ago, 
and then plotting and planning videos like this. So that wasn't bad for the first three months of filming, to be honest. Started working with Bjorn, I said this a little bit earlier, in November because I really wanted to be challenged, have someone to hold me accountable at my intensity of work. Not that I don't work a lot, but it's about like leveling up and I don't have a boss, so it's not easy to like, well, when you don't have a boss, everything's up to you. And as good as that is, sometimes it's not great. Um, I wanted someone to help me get to the next level. The idea was that we'd go into professional personal development. We'd improve my current venture and we'd look at a future venture. The future venture went really, really, really quick, which was the business, which is why I went to Dubai. The business is called Move. And long story short, even though I'm sure I'm going to talk for ages, Move has been put on the shelf. And the reason we've got to that stage is I've worked for seven and a half years so, so tirelessly on rugby tots. And we've, through Bjorn's coaching and the process we've gone through, I've got myself to a position where I've kind of removed myself largely from the business. I still coach multiple times per week, but as far as like my day to day and how much I do, that's dramatically reduced because of his coaching and the plan was to look at moving to Dubai and all these things. So now I'm in this position where for the first time ever, I'm not like fully held even geographically by rugby tots and I have more opportunity to move away. Hello. <laughs> you can watch if you want. <laughs> Ugh, completely lost my flow. Uh, rugby tots held geographically. I'm now in a position where I'm not held to that. And I can now do whatever I want for the first time in seven and a half years. And do I really want to just go become the face of another children's company? The opportunity is massive. And whoever executes on that business, whether it's us down the line, well, executes and does a really good job, it genuinely could be a billion dollar business if done correctly, because nobody's doing what we were trying to do right now. The mountain is like Everest 10 times over, but there's a massive gap there. Anyway, that's been parked because what do I want my story to really be? And I think come full circle to this moment, it's like I care more about my story, my life. I journal every day. What do I want it to be and where do I want it to go? And the answer is like music, media and entertainment. That is what I really, really want to do. So I was very anxious to tell Bjorn because we were going to co-found it together that I'm like, hey, uh, I don't want to do that anymore. And being the amazing person he is, it's, I shouldn't have been anxious. He was like, you have to go through discoveries to find out where you really are. Um, so we get to this moment where on April 1st, I am going all in on me as a DJ and a personality and my own personal brand. And I'm going to continue music production with Sean. Currently I'm doing it once a week and then I have homework to do. I'm removing myself from rugby touch. So I'm only working two days a week on that. And I'm going to go music production twice a week with Sean. And I'm going to hopefully have four. The goal is, I've got lots of goals. I don't want to disclose them all. Maybe in Paul can video. We're going to film a video, okay? That's going to go in the private section as YouTube so we can come back to it. We've got, we've set out a roadmap. We're going to attack my DJ career like we were going to attack the business. We have success criteria. We have KPIs. We have accountability. As if we were building the technology business, but we're building my DJ career. I'm going to do production twice a week with Sean. I'm going to have two full days dedicated on the day after our lessons to really have a go at this. So tomorrow, by the time this video comes out, is day one of 365 of me trying to forge my music career, my DJ career. I don't want to say DJ because it's music more than just DJing, um, as well as being maybe, uh, maybe we'll try to get back into TV one day. I don't know. I'm going all in on me tomorrow and you guys come along for the ride if anybody cares but this video will probably get viewed not many times but i hope that down the line maybe one year from now this one will be visited or maybe 10 years down the line this one will be revisited at the moment where i chose to go all in on me we're going to stop this take there before i regather my thoughts again so when i got cut off somewhat then it was like two ladies walked behind most people take a look a little look but they were like they weren't even smiling and they stood right behind Paul. And I was like, okay, cool, watch and stay and don't smile. Yeah, completely lost my flow if you couldn't tell. All right, I was thinking so much then that I wasn't even sure if my energy was coming off as, as excited as I am. And maybe I was a bit uh, subdued in the long monologue I gave there. But I just want to clarify how uh, happy I am to be in this moment in time and how excited I am to like fully attack this as if it was like a business. When I started out with rugby tots, like it was such a grind, like trying to even convince parents to bring their kids who are age two to rugby 
like took so much convincing. So we did so much video content. I was um, reaching out to every single person I could, and I need to attack this with the same, exactly the same mentality. And like every day is day one, and I know nothing, and I need to reach out. I need to grow my network. I need to need people to hear about me, and um, I need to put out way more content. I'm pretty confident with um, where my mixing creativity execution level is at from a DJing point of view and I just need to put more into the world I need to start doing live streams and just really attack this like my life depends on it that's not even a joke that's the plan if I want to go all the way to the top it's good work Paul <laughs> you feeling my knees I don't know <laughs> if I want to go all the way to the top which I will I need to go all in on it, back against the wall. Oh, wait, this is the Aqualuna. And I would like to do a DJ set on the Aqualuna. It's never even that busy these days anymore, to be honest. I would love to do one on there. They've done one on there before. I can't remember what the, it was a, it was a duo, a DJ duo, and they go up and down the harbor front. It's a similar vidi, 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 similar vidi, by a DJ called Hot Since 82 and he's on a pirate ship in Ibiza. And it's got that sort of vibe to it. So Aquiluna DJ set in 2024. This is Paul guys. Doesn't get to be on camera often. We, we had a really great time. Benny's like a lovely guy. Um, <laughs> oh, come we've, on done, now. we've done so much together. Bro, that's so fucking hard. You put that out all the way with your arm, boy. That's, that's fucking, <laughs> try doing that. James, change your program, lad. New, <laughs> forget fundraisers, come work with Paul. <laughs> no wonder he's jacked now. Paul's put on 10 kilos, he's becoming a video cap, video man. Paul is on a mission here, Avenue of Stars is busy. Can he get through the people and film me? Test one, passed, good job. Uh, so I thought I'd tell a quick story on Bjorn and how he's changed my mindset on so many things. I'll try to keep it short. So when we started working together, we were looking at um, health and fitness, like, gaps, opportunities. And one thing we were discussing is about um, Dana White, the UFC president, um, had data taken from somebody who was a, uh, used to work in insurance and he said that Dana White was gonna die in the next five years, to which Dana White then completely overhauled his life and changed it. So we were talking about how health, how important health is, but how people really underestimate it. But if you were given a marker like Dana White got, maybe you'd sort your life out. However, on the flip side, that's actually really dark. So this is where the conversation started. Then he said to me, how long would you like to live? And I was like, mm. thought about it. And then I decided on the answer, 120. I decided on the answer, 120. And the reason I said that was because I've just gone past 30 and that means I'm only 25% way through my life and I've got three more lives to live. And he said, why didn't you say 500? And I was like, well, you know, that doesn't, you know, we're nowhere near 500. That, that isn't the average. And his point was that when, at this time, we were looking at building the new business, he was like, don't anchor on something. Don't allow your thoughts to anchor on, I'm helping Paul, yeah. <laughs> don't anchor your thoughts on a previous margin or a previous average or a previous accomplishment. It's like, think way bigger. And since doing that, my mind is, it's not just that one thing, it's been through working with him for four or five months now, but through that sort of like slight mind shift, mindset shift and going, well, why isn't it possible? Or why can't it be 500? Or how do we get there? Or maybe we can't get anywhere near 500, but how do we get to 150 as an example? What I'd say, it's not even a lesson, just one, one of the nice learnings or discoveries from, from working with someone who thinks like he does. And he's so full of energy all the time. And he's like, Ben, this is good. I like this. And uh, yeah, he's, um, it's been amazing. So there's a little Bjorn story for you. Uh, I feel like everything I said was like a little bit of a word vomit this evening. But I, to close off today's video, feel really happy and proud I'm in this position to be able to even believe in myself to the point where I'm not having this, I'm not doing this to like mess about. I'm doing this with no intention apart from going all the way to the top to release amazing music, to play for the biggest crowds in the world and be one of the names in house music. I love it. 
I've enjoyed learning how to make music to the point where it's really hard for me to close the laptop and go to bed. My sleep schedule has not been perfect and that's part of it. And I'm excited to just push the boundaries, hopefully in four weeks from now, four weeks from filming, not the release. I'll have my first track completed and finished with Sean and I can put it out into the world, can play it in the club and that'll be a really cool moment. And that will be the worst track I ever make. And that feels awesome. So. Signing off with tomorrow, April 1st, as I said, is day one of me going all in on myself and trying to make it as a DJ, an entertainer, a personality and a brand. So here we go. I'm excited.